All right, now I've got the bolt that came out of the damper pulley. I've got a thick wash of nut on it. You have to reinsert this, get it started, because we're going to have to turn the crankshaft here. There's a mark. See that little arrow? This arrow right here? I'm going to turn this around clockwise. And there's a mark. Here we go with. Oh, yeah. See that arrow pointing down right there on top of that word front? What I'm going to do is turn the crank shaft uh, until that arrow comes up there. I don't know. Now if it doesn't line up, I'll turn it one more rotation because on this particular engine, say I start here, I go one rotation, my timing mark up above goes halfway around, I come around again and they'll be lined up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to crank on this till it gets here and then when I'm almost there, I'll show you what it looks like on the top. Okay. We're real close. See, I'm, I'm off just a, a couple of teeth. Up here, what we're trying to do. Jeez. On your timing belt cover, the rear, they have this little mark just made into the plastic. Now, On this, this is your camshaft that runs through here, I believe. There's a mark. It's right here. It's like a little file mark. It's hard to see it. But all it is, it looks like somebody took a file and nicked it right there. When my arrows down below are lined up, this it's supposed to line up with that little plastic notch and then that's supposed to be uh, you're lined up and then I can take this belt off the only flaw I see in the system and I haven't it hasn't happened to me yet well it almost did if something happens and this gets eaten up you just you know something grinds against here or something accidentally uh, you lose that mark so that's not good but uh, like I said it hadn't happened to me yet but I, I could see where it could possibly happen um, so I'm going to crank around and get this lined up and then we'll start uh, taking off the tensioner for the belt itself. On a 2001 model it's going to be hydraulic. Alright, this is the hydraulic tensioner that puts pressure on the timing belt. The bolts are 13 millimeter. There are two of them. There's one here. There's one here. If you loosen these up this will slide down it has a plunger right here hydraulic plunger it'll come down and you can take these off and this comes out of the way all right now that we've got the uh, hydraulic tensioner out what we've got to do is get this ready for when we reassemble everything see those holes right there there's one in the shaft see? And there's a couple right there in the housing. I'm going to take an Allen wrench. Uh, 1 16th fits here or some other type of material that's similar. Put it through that hole. Line it up. Like that. A little bit more. Alright. That's pretty good. That's good. Now, what we've got to do... We've got to set this in a vise. This vise opens up five and a quarter inches max. It's uh, the next size up from basically a small vise you can get. And it's just barely enough. Damn. How am I going to get this in here? So I'm going to put the rod and I'm going to 
pull a little bit. Let's see if I can get this in here. There you go. Okay. If I come from the side, I can put that in, press a little bit, and slide the back. <clears throat> wow, that is really snug. <clears throat> I don't like doing it that way. Hmm. Yeah, if you don't have a vice, I'm not sure how you're going to be able to do this. There we go. <clears throat> Alright. I put the tip in and then brought my back up. careful here just a little bit to help it line up so I can squeeze it all right all right now I'm gonna compress the vise close it up a little bit See, that's not straight There we go. Don't want to mess it up. Then that's just another part we have to buy. We've already spent enough money. It's a tough cylinder. What we got to do is get the holes lined up so we can put this Allen wrench in there. Because when you reinstall this, the cylinder has to be compressed. Here we go. See? That's in there pretty good and snug. Get it towards the end there. Because what we'll do is when we reinstall it, we'll put the uh, tensioner pulley in position to hold it and release this so but yeah now it's done so we can go to the next step